Welcome back. One of the biggest casualties from Hurricane Irma on the Sun Coast, the trees. That's right. And if you're thinking about removing a downed tree from your yard, you might want to listen up. There's some important information that you should know if your trees have been damaged. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from the University of Florida's Extension Office in Sarasota County with more. Rick. Yeah, guys, this is one of the trees that was damaged. Tree experts do have some very valuable advice. Uprooted and damaged trees can still be seen around the Sun Coast almost two weeks after Hurricane Irma slammed the area. For longtime Hawkins Road resident Samantha Karphauser, she lost 11 trees in the storm. These are old growth trees. They've been around for a very long time. And it's not just the tree limbs or anything. It's the trees themselves were picked up and moved. Unfortunately, this is a very common sight in Sarasota and Manatee counties. Dr. Pat Williams is the residential horticultural agent for Sarasota County. In in addition to the powerful winds and age of a tree, he tells us what is most likely at the root of all this tree damage. One of the contributing factors that caused a lot of the trees to fall over was the, the wet soils that precluded the hurricane. So the water didn't have a whole lot of place to go, and with the soils being saturated, the roots just can't grip. William says one of the biggest mistakes people make once a tree is damaged is to have someone chainsaw it apart just to get rid of it immediately. But he says people should be patient because trees are resilient, and some of the time the trees can be saved. Well, one of the easiest ways is just to look at the foliage. If your tree has been disrupted by the root system, the leaves have withered, they've started to turn brown and dry up, versus if the damage is on the tree and the tree is still green, then it has a very good chance of healing itself. For Samantha Karphauser, she's had many of the damaged trees removed at her own expense, which insurance won't cover. She's hoping FEMA will reimburse her soon. There are still a few trees left that need to be removed from her power lines and her fence. I don't know about replacing them. I mean, right now I'm just trying to come up with the funds to get them off the property <laughs> and get it to where it's nice again. Well, that was uh, ABC 7's Rick Adams reporting. You saw that tree that was downed uh, behind him there. That tree obviously cannot be saved.